All right. So for this problem, uh, let's go ahead and identify the given information. It's going to be 31.1 gram wafer of pure gold. Oh, yikes. Okay, so like I was saying, <laughs> it's going to be a 31.1 uh, gram wafer of gold initially at 69.3 degrees Celsius. Submerge into 64.2 grams of water at 27.8 degrees Celsius. Then it's asking for the final temperature of both substances at thermal, thermal equilibrium. So for this problem, we are going to be using the formula MCAT is equal to negative MCAT. And a uh, change in temperature can be rewritten as temperature final minus temperature initial. So I'll go ahead and do that. And just to remind everyone, uh, M stands for mass, C is the heat capacity, and then triangle T is change in temperature. So let's go ahead and plug all of our values in. So our mass is going to be 31.1 grams. And then our heat capacity of gold, uh, after looking it up, is point one two five six joules over grams times degrees Celsius. So if you're if you have a test, they'll definitely hand you like a little sheet showing the heat capacity of the substances. And then our temperature final, we're asked to find the final temperature, but we are given the initial temperature right here. 69.3 degrees Celsius. And then uh, our mass is 64.2 grams of water. Heat capacity of water is 4.18. And then it says that the initial temperature of water is 27. It's 27.8 deg degrees Celsius minus the temperature. <sighs> Yikes, sorry. It is the temperature final minus the temperature initial and the temperature initial is 27.8. So what you want to do is you're just going to multiply out these terms and notice that the units do cancel. You're going to end up getting multiply 64.2 times 4.18 you are going to get 268.37 and then from here from here uh, it's just going to be algebra you're going to distribute the term, and then you're going to solve for T temperature final. So I'll go ahead and do that.
And then that will give us, once we separate temperature final onto one side, meaning we isolate it, it's going to be negative 7,731.6 is equal to negative 272.28. Then just divide both sides. And then that will give you 28.39. And the units is going to be in Celsius just because when looking at the question, it says what is the final temperature. So the only units that would make sense is Celsius. Thank you for watching.